good morning. It's a brisk uh, 14th of October 2022 and yesterday I was making a video. I think I said it was the 13th of November. Yes, I guess that's a price of getting old. So, but anyway, I said I was going to Minsk and I'll just talk about the trip and maybe show a few places in Minsk. But at the moment, uh, you know, it's still early in the morning. It's like not even seven, I don't think, but I got caught a bus and I'm near the, you know, the, what is it, a, a bus station where you can get, you know, longer range buses to go, you know, many places in, in um, Belarus. Minsk, which is about 130 kilometers. But right now I'm standing in front of, this is a Seventh-day Adventist church here in Baranovichi. And it's right near the, the bus station, so thought I'd film it. Oh, look, they got advertisements up there. Join now and you can get Ginsu knives that cut through anything. Uh, I'm just kidding. No disrespect intended, but uh, no, it just has some kind of a lettering up there. Anyway, just to show you, some people are curious about uh, practicing faith here in Belarus and on the Western media, I think they'll tell you that they're, everybody's persecuted. I think I've even heard that from Seventh-day Adventists. <laughs> it's far from the truth. Just a lot of lies to demonize Russia or Belarus. That's just how it goes. So more to come later. The minibus has arrived. Here we go. It's um, cost 12 rubles to go from Baranovichi to Minsk. It's like 130 kilometers and in US dollars. That is, I think, like four dollars and eighty cents to go 130 kilometers in this van. So, just so you know. Okay, I just arrived in Minsk. It's uh, right after nine o'clock, so the the van ride was um, one hour and a half. And uh, you know, nine o'clock, I left. At, the van left at seven thirty, and uh, so this is uh, the stop where you leave from Baranovichi to go to Minsk. Um, stops by this metro station here called Malinovka, and. Uh, I'm heading over to the, uh, there's a great big, uh, what do you call it, grocery store or something over the way, so I'm going to do some filming inside there so you see what that looks like. And I guess I will, I'll show you a little bit down below here. It's just an underpass, um, but it's actually a subway station, but I, you can pass underneath this busy street over here, I'll show you, to, um, you know, to get to that store over there. Well, you can't see the store. Too many big buildings and lots of traffic here, so anyway, stay tuned. That's the entrance to the subway. And that's the exit of the subway over here. With red labels. Oh, maybe I'll stop into Burger King. Look at that. Less than one dollar. It's two rubles, so it's about 90 cents. Hamburger, it looks like a chicken burger, chicken McNuggets, and a cherry turnovers for like 90 cents at Burger King. You can get a scooter, order it on your cell phone, turn it on and leave it wherever you want, I guess.
It's a supermarket. It's about 30 checkout lanes. Is this some kind of kid stuff about, I don't know, a dollar something? Prices are very good in Belarus, actually. Some wines here. This is the fish section here. Some kind of sausages here. Oh, I love these. Wow, I saw somebody wearing a mask. You don't see that very often. Sometimes you see thousands of people all day long and you might see one or two people with a mask. Some beer juices. Peach juice. That's about one dollar and five cents. Most places you can find juice uh, a little over a dollar. Interest me, you got these beer. Look at these beer bottles, plastic beer bottles. 
fabulous beer, Oliveria. It's one of the best beers in the world, honestly. Honestly speaking, I think it won number one at one time, but they, this, this company makes quite a number of beers, but this is probably the one that's, uh, that was rated number one in the world at one time. Some of the different varieties, I think all from Olivaria. More Belarusian beers. Some sort of construction going on, very loud. Sorry about that. I don't know. It's like wines or something here. Oh no, all kinds of alcohols. More beer, it looks like beer from Lithuania. Czech beer, oh look, Radeberger from Germany. Berliner. Tubor beer, Denmark. Copenhagen, here is Russian beer. There is Czech beer. Oh, sorry about that noise, boy, it bothered me. More Belarusian beer. I have to shut it off, the noise is just too, too terrible here. Well, I have to show you more beer. Belarus is a beer country. Lots of beer in Belarus. Lots of Arivarnia. Olivarnia. Very good beer. Also another Litskaya, another great beer from Belarus. Another beer. in a can, Farsteiner. Also very good German beer, but they have that in the bottle too. So. I'm now in the metro, Malinovka. I'm just getting ready to go to my apartment just to show you what it looks like here in a metro in Minsk. Minsk metro. <laughs> And then there's a clock up here that shows you the time. How long from when the 
last one left. Last, uh, it's like every five minutes, about every five minutes you get a, a car. So right now I'm in one of the odd calm times here. And here's the schedule. See the first one here in yellow. And that's the Malinovka. And then all these other ones. And then we have to switch it. To, uh, uh, let's see, where is it? Not Plosha Lenina. Plosha Lenina, that's where the train station is. Where the green line is as well, you can transfer. <clears throat> and uh, Kastrichnitska, that's where we have to have to trade. I'm not that great at reading Russian yet. I have a lot of letters and the sounds are all mixed up compared to English, but I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Anyway, here comes the subway car. I'll show you coming in here. The subway train. It's an old one. Strichnikska station and I'm uh, heading to a different railroad line or metro line. Someone with a mask, you don't see that often. I always like the lights uh, in Kastrichnitska station. Here's the walk to the other subway line, or metro line. Robotic vacuum cleaners, of course. This is the neighborhood by which I live, close by here anyway. Oh look, there's uh, buffalo. Buffaloes are are like a symbol of uh, of uh, Belarus. They have uh, places where there's a lot of buffalo. So anyway, so there's uh, some grocery stores by here. There's a really big grocery store, similar to the one I just left. I don't know how many... I mean, it's, a, it's actually a shopping mall, but there's a big grocery store inside there. So... But most of these buildings are built in the time of Stalin, but here's a very nice park. Children playgrounds. This building is... They're starting renovation on it. It's an old Stalinist building. So when you have a uh, an apartment built in the Stalin era, they call it a Stalinka. So Stalinkas are very nice because they're they're built very very well. A lot of the walls of these buildings are over two feet thick in many places, and you'll see that. And the floors are very, very nice, very hard, even though they're pine. It's a very strange thing. They, how they cured them or, or whatever, that's, the pine floors are almost as hard as oak. So that's very good, but they're, they're very nice apartments. But before I show you the nice apartments, oh, with how nice they are, here's a, it's just um, around the area here. There's a, an apartment buildings in Belarus. They, Norm, normally have a lot of trees around them. 
So it's like a park in front of your apartment building over here. Very strange what all the propaganda you get in the West that everybody's miserable and it's so bad here and, <laughs> and all that. This place right here, um, right off to the side, they have in the summertime, there's like a tent there. It's a beer tent and you get half a liter of very good beer for, it's like, uh, I don't know, 80 cents from the tap, of course. It's, it's a draft beer for 80 cents. If you like draft beer, oh, some nice colorful trees here. But soon, a lot of these leaves are going to be falling off. It's going to be sort of dreary for who knows, like four months or something. And it's very good to have some of these evergreen trees around. So you, you can still have some green. Very nice. So there's this, uh, a, uh, what is it, a Stalin-era building already renovated probably a year or two ago. So I'll show you inside of a, an apartment very soon here. And, uh, well, not, not finished apartment, but on the way, that's my apartment. Yes, well, we had problems getting started here, so it's taking like a year. I had to get a new contractor. There's some boards from the floor. But the floors are wood. And the floors are going to be done soon, starting next week. Still at least a month, a month of work to do here. So that's how that is. Nice thick walls. Very small kitchen, unfortunately. Government would not let us have it a little bigger. I don't know why. That's, that's the laws. We're having a gas stove. So that's one reason why. Have to have a wall here. That's law too. Otherwise I wanted it open here. This is a sort of like a dining room. And a big picture window. It's very dark here right now. So I guess it's a it's a pretty nice neighborhood. As I say in the few months here, it looks very nice right now, but it's going to look terrible in the winter time. In a couple of months here, all the leaves will be gone when the weather is uh, gray. <laughs> no, but I say at the moment it's very nice right now. The temperature is cool, really very nice. You can go out without a coat on, actually. You just have a warm shirt and you'll be good to go. But anyway. I'm in the Mintz train station. And, uh, yeah, pretty big place here. I think this, they made this right around the year 2000 or so. 
but here's outside. Here's the famous gates to Minsk. That back behind me is a uh, shopping mall. was built during the time of Stalin, the gates to Minsk, and a lot of these buildings, all of the really nice buildings are, like, I guess you'd call them Stalin-esque. You know, we hear a lot of bad things about Stalin in the West. I don't know what is true or what's not true. A lot of people like Stalin over here in, in uh, Belarus and Russia, but uh, I don't know, maybe I guess it depends on what your political persuasion persuasions were or are or who knows what so yeah I suppose that shopping mall's name is Galileo and if you see some of the advertisements you'll notice that that uh, well one is McDonald's McDonald's never pulled out of here it's not like uh, like in Russia so it's still Burger King McDonald's KFC all of that kind of stuff There's a logger. <laughs> I'm okay. You live here? Yes. You live in Minsk? Yes. Okay, well. Why, where are you from? Uh, originally from the United States. Ah, uh, you, you are America? Yeah, yeah. Oh. But I, I'm living in Baranovichi, but just, just came up here. Are you a blogger or? Yeah, I uh, 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 this is China, uh, China WeChat. Huh? China WeChat. Live China. Hello. Oh, yes, okay. China WeChat. And I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Hello, China. I'm a doctor. 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 Oh, DJ. Yeah, Chinese. DJ. DJ. Yeah, very good. No. Uh, this uh, uh, live? No, no, no. Uh, video? Uh, yeah, just making a vlog. Uh, uh, oh, don't you make a video? Huh? No. Uh, and English is totally English. Ruski. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Live. Live. Hi. I, I'm alive. You're live. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Okay. I'll let you, I'll let you continue. I, I, thank hope you. to see you. I'm Duke in Belarus. You can look on YouTube. Duke in Belarus. Why I, I do, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I got away running, running. I ran, ran from COVID. Run from COVID, you know, the virus uh, mandates from a government. Uh, the, uh, I'm running from government mandates, uh, you know. Government mandates, COVID. So, but anyway, this. <laughs> anyway, okay. Good luck. Bye bye. Didn't understand a word he said. 
he probably didn't understand anything I said. Some kind of uh, live, live vlogger in China. Yeah, so, well, that's how that is, you know. Looking bus, cool. Well, I thought I ended this video before, but uh, I've had time to kill, so I'll uh, I've added this on to it and. Uh, I'll kind of sneak it in in between. Now I'm on Partizan Platz here in Minsk and uh, somewhere near the area where I live. This is a very old Soviet shopping mall called Belarusi. So, but anyhow, I'm not going to go inside. I'm going to one day do some some sort of a video on the shopping malls whenever I'm going to be living here at some point in time. But uh, I'm just going to end this video now. Uh, it's just mostly for you to get some images of of uh of belarus there's a guy here let's see if we can talk to him see uh see what, what do you think about belarus guy hey hey wake up oh he doesn't want to talk anyway he likes it here because he's been standing there for a long long time anyway so thanks for watching and uh yeah like i say subscribe if you haven't already and uh i'll see you in the future i hope Yes, well, that was a day in Minsk anyway, but uh, I already said goodbye, but I thought I would end. It's probably a little bit better to end while I'm uh, actually traveling out of Minsk because I started it coming in. You know, this was, uh, well, when I first got in this car, this is an older train. It's a Soviet, Soviet-made train. Sometimes you get the new ones, but uh, when I walked into this one, it smelled like a no, it's kind of weird. It smelled like a babushka's underwear. It's not that I've smelled babushka's underwear before, but it, I, I can imagine what it smells like. But, uh, so, I'll say goodbye again. Goodbye.